exciting day um, so it's my birthday and one of my friends Sue got me the headpiece of Qantas's new tack my brother got me the reins for Christmas and I treated myself um, to the breastplate I've taken a little bit of a gamble and when I ordered it Zoe the lady that makes the bridles they're from Pioneer Endurance um, she was like are you sure you want the white padding because it might stain and I just really like the look of it, so I was like, I'll take the risk. And it's really good because if it does stain um, and I want to swap it to a different colour, you can send them back and she'll like unpick it and, and re redo it and send it for repairs and things. So today we're going to fit it on Qantas um, and see what he looks like. Hopefully super smart because I love it. I can't wait for him to finally compete and look super cool. Um, I'm probably the least out there endurance rider in terms of colours I've always been navy and white and I normally have way way more navy than I do white so this was quite the gamble for me I feel like I'm being very rebellious um, but I'm not really because if you go out to an endurance ride some people have like like full-on multicolored like purple orange pink blue all in the same tack um, and like bright red bright green bright purple but for me this is out there and I'm super excited to try it on. I hope he likes it. Oh, I'm tangled. I'm just taking it apart first, make it slightly easier. So bridle bit, headpiece, springs, breastplate, um, I'm putting the bit on. I actually need to get him a slightly smaller bit. The mylar's come up slightly big and he was in a five and a half, so I got him a five and a half. Um, but I think I need to go down a size, so. But it'll do for now. Better a big bit than a small bit. Voila! Take all the bits out of the keepers so they're oh, they're ready to change speedily. I really like how um, adjustable they are. Literally, like every section. So under the chin, the nose band, the throat lash, the top, like, and then if there's any excess material. I don't do it to start with, so I probably keep it as it is for about three, six months just to make completely sure. But then if there's like big bits kind of pointing off, you can literally cut it with scissors. I don't know if this is what you're meant to do, but it works for me. Cut it with scissors and then I just seal the ends on like a hot plate. Don't take my advice on that though, but that is what I do. <laughs> um, cool, let's go get him. obviously not that excited for new tech. Come on! New tech day! You're in time too, Boyd. Yeah, it will be in my own time, thanks. I have more excess colour for Hello, sweetie. Okay, look at all those flies on your face. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hi. You're going to be a big grown-up endurance pony because you're going to have your own tack. You don't care, do you? You're going to have your own tack. It's going to be good for your fitting. You know? You're so cute. <laughs> you're the most affectionate horse, aren't you? Right, come on then. Come on then. the easiest bit to do. <laughs> You're so sweet. Escape pony. Oh, look, it's just now 
Nice new tack. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's not bad straight away. Come on then. How you work some canal fiddle? Okay. I'd probably want it maybe up one hole on the nose band. And then that's a bit too loose because I want like two fingers in. So tighten the throat dash. Take the tension off, please. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, so I want a couple of fingers from his chin, so I reckon that hole there will be do it. Perfect. Well, I think so. If anyone has tips and tricks of like the correct way of doing this, feel free to share. I think that looks pretty good. Hey boy, what do you think? <laughs> You're not sure, are you? You don't know what's happening. I actually think I guessed that length pretty well. I haven't had to adjust it. You can see what I mean by the bit being slightly too big. Just We've got about a finger each side on the curve. Um, so I will get a smaller bit. Oh, good boy, I think that's in the perfect place. I don't know. I know. If that's maybe a tiny bit tight, or if that's okay. Let's put these in the keepers. I went for black keepers on the on the navy and white on the white. Probably cut that bit away. Oh, look how smart you look. Let's try the frame. Navy biophane. I'll probably change those to black cubes as well at the time. I didn't think of it at Christmas. Oh, aren't they smart? You're so grumpy. That's sitting really nicely just over the metal bits. Is that where I would want it? Well, some people find the sound of rain on roofs really soothing, so maybe this can be like one of those ASMR videos where like noise is soothing. So I'll be quiet and you can just listen to the rain. <laughs> Fit straight away. So, probably a length in. I want him to be able to kind of get to this level without that impeding. So, I probably need that circle to come down just a tiny bit because I want him to be able to get to about here to drink without it causing any pressure. But I think that's kind of maybe a. No, I think that's perfect in the withers. That length seems okay. And that's just sitting in front of the shoulder. Can I have your foot, please? Yeah, so it's not like coming down here and stopping him moving properly. Thank you. So I think let's lengthen the shoulder strap. Just one each side to start with. Like that gives him a bit more room. I might then shorten the wither strap just one because doing that has brought the shoulder strap down a bit. I think that's perfect height for me, that's what I'd like. Then let's shorten the strap underneath. I want like well that's lots of excess so probably will end up cutting some of that off. But I don't do it yet in case. 
Are you eating the camera? In case I'm, I want to like move it around a bit more. But we'll just leave it. Leave it like that. Or oh, I don't know, tuck it in, I'm not sure. Tuck it in for now, there we go. Hi! You look so good. All the ponies are going to say how lovely you look. Okay, and then I'm just going to shorten the wither strap one. Oh, that was, a, that was more than one. I normally buy like some sort of pole padding, um, like a really thin one. Um, like the Harry Hall Protect Master or like the um, Primary Chrome Magnetic Strips. Don't really buy them for the magnetic or the ceramic fibres, more just because they're super thin and really nice padding over the top stops like the main getting stuck in it. You don't really need it, not many people use them. But I like to have it. I think that's I think that might be perfect. I think you look so good. Super smart. Hey? Good boy. Mm -hmm.